Sandra Bland's family will receive almost $2 million from the county where she died in a Texas jail cell in 2015. Uh, it was never just about Sandy. It was about all mothers who have lost their children unjustly to police brutality, to senseless gun violence. That's what it was about from the beginning. The attorney representing her family told the Associated Press that the lawsuit will be eventually dismissed. What it says is, is that you have to do your job. What it says is, is that when it comes down to looking after people in custody, there are real responsibilities associated with that. And what it says is, is that humane treatment, everybody is entitled to that. But the lawyer representing Waller County says while they've reached an agreement, the Bland estate is violating a confidentiality agreement in the settlement. He did not respond to requests for an interview on camera. I'm going to drag you out of here. So you're going you're to drag me out of my own car? Get out of the car! And then you I will light me? you up. Get out! Wow. Now. And a black Chicago area woman died in the Waller County Jail after a contentious traffic stop with a Texas state trooper. It resulted in her arrest for a minor traffic violation. Authorities have said Bland killed herself three days after while still in jail. Her mother says that the lawsuit requires the jail to make changes, including having a 24-hour nurse or emergency medical technician on duty, and the installation of electronic sensors to ensure guards are checking on detainees. Sandy is gone, okay? And so I can't help her with these changes. These changes won't help her, but they will certainly help the next female, the next male, the next individual that's stopped, the next individual that's jailed. The settlement also asks Waller County's highest elected official to lobby the state to change jailing procedures. The trooper who originally arrested Bland was fired and still faces a misdemeanor perjury charge. The Department of Public Safety, his former employer, says it has not formally settled with Bland's family. Bland was 28 when she died. She was supposed to start a job at a nearby college. John Moan, Associated Press, Houston.